Hi, I'm Darren. I've got a problem with sauce. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back. You join me at a campsite this week. It is time to do my chores. So I thought I'd check into a campsite and get them all done under one roof. Right, I am at Clumber, Clumber, Clumber Park in Worksop. It's quite a nice little site. When I said it's like time to do my chores, I need to you know, I needed to empty my tanks, I needed to refill my tanks, I need to do laundry, I need to shave my beard and have a haircut, because um, <laughs> that's a bit out of control. Um, and yeah, just give the motor home a bit of a general tidy up. I mean, I can do all them on the road, to be fair. That's not a problem. But I'm feeling a little bit run down as well. Got a bit of a cold and a bit of a cough. So I thought, you know what? Let's go to a site. We can do all that at the site and get it all done and dusted over a couple of days, chill out for a couple of days and uh, yeah, not rush around and not, not worry and get it all done. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Right now I'm walking back to the reception to go and get some washing tokens so I can use the laundry. I think it's four quid for them for the washing machine and a pound for 15 minutes of the tumble dryer. So it's a lot cheaper than the uh, Revolution machines. Um, but obviously I paid for the campsite. So this was 20, 20 quid a night for me. Um, that's for me and the pitch. So yeah, I think it was 40 pound and 40 P or something for two nights. So not too bad. Um, it's had quite a renovation. I've seemed to read online that they spent a couple of million pounds renovating the place. And it does look nice and new and very clean and well to do. The signal, <laughs> the signal and the Wi Fi, that's another story which you'll get right to. So there's the entrance to the site. And there is electric charging points down there for electric cars. This is the site, as you can see. It's quite a quite a big old site. You've got a massive jungle gym park there for the kids with a football cage with goals and everything. Massive climbing frame. So there's one of the shower blocks and that there. And then the other one is there. But this one's out of order at the moment i think like i said i'm feeling a little bit rough around the edges so i parked right outside the shower block because uh, that's where everything i need is right there the washing uh, the washing machines uh <laughs> the the uh showers and the um even i've got loads of washing up <laughs> i've got loads of washing up to do because i don't know about you guys and drop it in the comments if you do this as well. The odd thing, like if it's a knife or something, you've used a knife, you know, I might just get a wet wipe and wipe it and then a little bit of tissue and clean that or a knife and fork, you know what I mean? But then, and it depends on the food you're eating, but sometimes I just like, you, you, you have something that's a bit grubby and then you just like, okay, I'll wash that tomorrow. Uh, or I'll wait until I've got a few and then you just start stacking it up and stacking it up in the sink or in the bowl until it gets to a point when you're like yeah I really gotta do that well that's where mine's at now um, it's not major it's only like a couple of plates and all that but um, it's loads of cutlery so yeah I'm gonna make use of all the facilities whilst I'm here now that is a tiny little pod. <laughs> How tiny is that? I don't even know if I'd fit in that. <laughs> so I'm parked up already. I'm plugged in. I've got the electric heating on. All good to go. Now I can start with my chores. I don't think I've seen this feature before. This is, uh, well, wash your dogs and bikes. 
<laughs> so at least you got somewhere to wash a muddy dog or wash a muddy bike. There's your Elson Point. Um, your water points, your uh, rubbish and recycling. And there's the land job. Just finished uh, draining the uh, grey tank. All good to go. Right, that is the first lot of washing in the tumble dryer. It's going to be in there for about 35, 35 minutes, I think. Um, so yeah, that should be should be good to go. But in the meantime, I wanted to come back and uh, do some emails. But the the signal on this site is so shocking. I've got no internet with my actual modem and I've got no signal with my phone. None whatsoever. Um, I'm on SOS. I <laughs> couldn't you believe that? I'm on SOS. That is just crazy. I apologise for my voice and all that because I am a bit bunged up and a bit, um, got a sore throat. So, yeah, bear with me. The Wi-Fi on here is free for one hour a max speed of one meg and then after that one hour it kicks you off and then you have to rejoin for an, another hour you don't have to re-sign up you just have to reactivate it for another hour uh so i looked at the premium wi-fi and that's five pound a day which is fine i'm i'm if i've got a, if i've got no signal and i've Got, I can't do anything and they're going to offer me, you know, some great Wi-Fi and all this and that, then so be it, you know, I'll pay the fiver. It doesn't tell you the speeds and it's restricted to one device. Are you having a laugh? Now, I've got my laptop here. I usually have an iPad with me and then I've got my phone <laughs> because I'm working on them all. So have I got to pay... Three times for all them, so 15 quid for the day? That's just ridiculous. And then they don't even tell you the speeds. I'm assuming this site's gonna be popular in summer because you've got a massive kids area over there, massive kids area, with an indoor, with a, a proper fenced in, wall fenced in, like um, wall height, uh, football field. I showed it to you earlier. So they're all gonna have a tablet. They're all gonna have a phone. Now, if they can't get any signal here, and all they can get is <laughs> five pound a day Wi-Fi, oh, they're gonna do their parents' heads in. They are gonna be nightmares. Yeah, here it is on the on the website. It says as part of uh, a two point five million pound investment in twenty twenty two, we made some fantastic improvements to uh, which members and guests are now enjoying. With visitor satisfaction score overall uh, uh, scores for overall facilities increasing to 9.5 out of 10, and it is it's really good. The, the, I mean, the, the site is really nice, and they have done brand new shower blocks, dual uh, dual access to allow it to remain open uh, during cleaning. So this is what they mean by their new system. So they can close that side. And this side's got exactly the same as that side. So you can, they can be cleaning that side and this side's still open because there's two doors with two codes, uh, same code, but they can lock that door in between. So it's a pretty good system now that they can keep showers open and toilets open whilst you're, you know, on site at different times of the day. New dishwasher, laundry, and inclusive bathrooms. Um, yeah, they're all good, and they and they are. They're all perfect. It's all good in there. It really is. Need some decent Wi-Fi. If you've got no signal in this area, you need some decent Wi-Fi. But it says here also we're trialing non-electric saver pitches at uh, Clumber Park uh, cl uh, Club campsites as part of our sustainability focus. Choose not to use electricity on any pitch with an electrical hookup and save up to £6.50 per night. Okay, so it's not specific pitches. It's good to see that sites are starting to, and, and clubs are starting to think about the future and about the way people are using stuff. Um, but yeah, we need internet. So I'm currently sending some emails, doing some bits and bobs. And like I said, the Wi-Fi situation is all over the place and the internet situation is all, all 
all song and dances. So I'm using their free Wi-Fi, which naturally brings me on to this week's sponsor, Surfshark. You guys know I love Surfshark. I've been a massive fan and a genuine user of theirs for years and years and years, way before I started doing videos with them. I, I mainly use them to access geo-restricted content. I love being able to watch any movie I want anytime, and I just dance around the world moving my location to suit what the catalogue of what I want to watch. It works absolutely flawlessly and I cannot recommend it enough for that. But right now I'm using it not to watch anything because the speeds are so low. Yeah, I'm encrypting my uh, data. I, I want to protect myself online. I, I don't know who's around me right now and I'm using public Wi-Fi. I mean, I'm doing emails, I'm doing a few bits and bobs. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm logged onto Surfshark. I'm, it wraps all my data for a nice little pipe of its own protects it encrypts it all from the bad guys so they can't get it and i'm protected it's exactly what i like you know um i don't want no bad guys getting my stuff um i'm pretty sure none of you do either this is exactly what i've got it for uh, i mean like i say mainly i've got it for geo restricted content but right now it's coming in handy just for this because i need to protect myself online and i don't want to be vulnerable if you guys have been looking for a vpn or anything like that to, to watch geo restricted content or just to protect yourself online then i've got a deal for you <laughs> i got a deal for you if you use the link in the description below enter the promotion code urban yeah you know helping you out there to get an additional six months free plus a 30-day money-back guarantee it's a no-brainer isn't it it's a no-brainer all the links will be in the description below make sure you use the code urban to get them additional months for free i'm gonna send a few more emails and then i'm gonna go check me washing good morning all right that's the second load of washing on bright and early Apologies about last night. I didn't film much at all. I really, really didn't feel that well last night. So much so, I had a bowl of cereal for breakfast yesterday, and then the only other thing I ate last night was because I thought, oh, I better eat something. Was a, was a, a literally the, the straightest, plainest ham sandwich in your life. And then, yeah, I went straight to bed i was done i was really done this cough is ugh, horrible um i was gonna do the second load of washing yesterday but i thought as i'm cutting my hair having a shower and everything then i'm gonna have bits and bobs that i could wash so well they're a bit noisy <laughs> so i thought i'd save it till the morning and then do the whole load in the morning and all the other little bits that I could chuck in at the same time. Um, it is a frosty morning this morning. It's quite solid. Um, it's about half eight. Yeah, about half eight. So I'm gonna jump in the mower home now. I'm gonna sort a few bits out, then get cracking with that cupboard. I might even cook a bacon sandwich today. I might even cook a bacon sandwich this morning. But, oh, yeah, last night, coughing, coughing, coughing. <laughs> Have you guys had this? This is an awful cough. Since doing van life, I just don't feel like I get ill, ever. I really don't. Um, but when I do, oh, it's horrible. It's horrible. I really do not like it. Because it's so rare, even when you do get it, you're like, ooh, it makes such a difference. So you're like, nah, I don't, I don't like this at all. Any of you that are full-time in your vans or motorhomes, do you... Uh, morning. morning. Do you feel, get, get the same feeling? Like that you, you're more immune, you're more resistant to, you know? Because every time I see the family, one of them's always got a cold or a cough, and I haven't. And it's, I don't know, it's just, just an observation, I suppose. Now, <laughs> cupboard's empty. Need to give it a little wipe, just to keep it fresh and that. Excuse the voice, sorry about that. Um, now, don't judge me too hard. <laughs> We're not perfect, none of us are perfect. I'm just showing you my imperfections uh, on camera. Um, yeah, when I look at it like this, this is bad. 
Oh, here we go. Now, just remember, you're probably the same. You must have a cucumbers like this. I think it's safe to say I have a problem with sauces. <laughs> I love sauces. That's clearly obvious. I love sauces. Um, I don't have food without sauces, basically. Uh, but I've got this weird thing with them. I get a bit protective over them. Like, oh, I won't open that one yet. I'll save that one. And then I keep saving it and saving it and saving it. And I never actually use it. I don't know what that is. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll get that one. Oh, I'll get that one. And uh, I don't finish them. I, I need to nip that in the bud this year. I need to just keep a few sauces and then work my way through them and then replace them. Now, I know some of these were from Europe. That's from Europe. I think that one's from Europe. That's from Europe. Jesus. Don't leave me hanging. Get in the comments now. You've got some, uh, some bad cupboards like that yourself. What's your worst cupboard? And what's your worst, uh, I don't know, what's your little um, problem? <laughs> Mine's sauces. <laughs> Hi, I'm Darren. I've got a problem with sauce. It's mayonnaise. They're all virtually mayonnaise. I, know, I don't even know why I'm going to say this because it goes against what I've just said. But if there's any really banging mayonnaise out there that you think I should try... <laughs> then drop them in the comments below but I'll get them one at a time <laughs> right I'm going to have a look at the dates and all these see what's good, see what's bad and I'll come back and show you that's the good pile and that's the bad pile yeah, it's a bit bad, isn't it? I mean, the McDonald's bags have uh, got uh, a few sauces and some salts in. So I'll go through them in a minute. But apart from that, yeah, that's a lot of... Uh, that's a lot of uh, weight, for one, and just storage. My problem is with sauces, you know. Someone else's problem might be with, I don't know, hairbands or, I don't know... Chewy sweets, it, it could be anything. Towels, tea towels, I don't know, but stuff creeps in, doesn't it? It just creeps in and it just get, keeps going and going and going until you start taking action. Um, and that's what I want to do. I want to take, I want to be doing one of these cupboards a week to stop this <laughs> happening in a motorhome when you were limited on space, limited on weight, limited on everything, and Everything you are carrying is costing you literally in fuel. It's kind of good to not carry loads of rubbish around with you. How much better does that look? Making progress, making progress. I've got 45 minutes before I've got to be off the site. So I'm going to uh, quickly scoff a bacon sandwich, which has to be probably, well, it has to be the best best breakfast sandwich out there, right? Now, this is going to be controversial with mayo. <laughs> Bacon sandwiches with mayo are for the win. Drop me in the comments below, what is your go-to breakfast sandwich? It's got to be bacon in it, or sausage and bacon, come on. Right, I'm going to tuck into this, sit down for five minutes, chill out for five minutes, and then pack up the rest of the stuff and hit the road. That is me done on this campsite in Clumber Park. I'm now going to uh, check out and go find uh, a nice little park up somewhere. Uh, somewhere where I can just turn the heating on, chill out and uh, get over this cough and cold. Um, but yeah, it's been a great, great couple of days doing the chores. I've got my, um, obviously I've had a haircut, I've had a shave. Um, I've emptied the tanks, I've re uh, refilled the water tank emptied the cassette, I've done all my laundry, two loads of laundry, done all the bedding, all the towels, everything. Um, yeah, it's, it's you know, like I said, you can do this on the road, but um, you can also do it on a campsite. So it's really how you choose to do it. But I wanted to do it all on one place, all in, you know, on my own time scale, really nice and easy. So yeah, chose a site and uh, this was the site. So. A little bit of spring cleaning as well. Want to know your thoughts on that? Is it too early? Am I doing the right thing like that? 
and what is your cupboard of doom? Mine was a sauce cupboard. It's a bit under control at the moment, but I'd love to know what one yours, uh, what your what your cupboard of doom is. And be honest, <laughs> I've shown you my, my cupboard, warts and all. Now tell me yours, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. <laughs>